A guided startup of the ACS310 using the Assistant requires the advanced control panel shown here. Begin by applying power to your drive. Upon boot up, the display will ask if you'd like to run the startup assistant. Select Yes to begin. It will now ask for your preferred language. Use the up and down arrow keys to select your desired language and press the Save key to confirm. The startup assistant will now guide you through the setup tasks, beginning with the motor setup. Enter your motor data as shown exactly on your motor nameplate. Use the arrow keys to scroll to your desired parameter value and press the Save key to accept the values you entered and continue to the next step of the setup process. At this point, your basic setup is now completed, but this is a good time to configure additional parameters if required by your application. From here, the assistant will ask if you'd like to continue with application setup. Press continue if you would like. Here, you will select the application macro according to which control cables are connected. The assistant may ask you to configure additional options depending on your setup. Once you have finished the application setup, the assistant will suggest the next setup to run. You can continue or skip as necessary, or press the exit key to stop at any time. Before finishing, you should check the direction of the motor rotation. If the drive is in remote control mode, switch it to local mode using the lock rem key. If you are not in the output mode, you may need to press the exit button more than once to get there. Use the up arrow to increase the frequency reference from zero to a small value for testing purposes. Press the start key to start the motor. Check that the direction of the motor is the same as what is shown on the display. Press the stop key to stop the motor. If your motor is moving in the correct direction, then continue on to the final check. If not, Set parameter 9914 to the opposite value it is currently at. If this menu is not visible, you may have to set parameter 1611 to 3 for long view mode. Once you have verified the correct rotation, you are now ready to perform your final check. Verify that there are no faults or alarms shown on the display. If you wish to check the LEDs on the front of the drive, switch to remote control mode, otherwise you'll generate a fault, before removing the panel and verify that the red LED is not lit and the green LED is lit but not blinking. Your drive is now ready to use. You can view our full selection of drives and more at galco.com.